I'm Sarah from Everyday Starlet and I'm here to show you how to have a luxurious day spa experience right in your very own home using your very own skincare products and stuff you can find in your regular grocery store. It's going to be so luxurious and exciting. We're going to do a facial and we're going to do a body scrub. So first you're going to start off with your prep step. You want to make sure that you remove all your makeup and use your everyday skin cleanser to get your skin nice and clean to start with. Now for the day spot part. This is the exciting part. So you want to start out by running a bath of warm water, not scalding hot, but really as warm as you can stand it. And ideally what you want to add is whole milk. Whole milk is actually really great. It has natural um, lactic acid in it, which is the nice exfoliant. It'll help soften your skin. You want to make sure you get the whole milk. And if you want to add, you can add Epsom salts, which you can get in your drugstore, or you can add uh, natural sea salts to your tub. And also for your face, you want to get face cloths and put them with, again, hot, not scalding hot, but as warm as you can get it comfortably. And just lay them across your face. I actually like to lay one across my eyes and one across the bottom so I leave a little hole for my nose so I can still breathe. Next we have exfoliation and there's several different ways you can exfoliate your skin. Uh, I find because my skin on my face is very sensitive so I find a nice all-around um, exfoliator is just old-fashioned oatmeal. Just add a little bit of water or you can add a little bit of milk as well. Some people even add honey to it. Either way, you just kind of mesh it up like a paste and just kind of rub it on your skin in circular motions and um, you definitely want to do this over a sink or over your tub because it gets messy. Um, so you just don't want to do it in the middle of your floor or else you're going to have to clean up your floor. Another thing you can do, you can do that in addition to the oatmeal or you can do it by itself, is to take um, a little bit of baking soda, mix it with water, make it into a paste. I find this works really well um, to just rub it around your nose because it's really good if you have really large pores. Um, and I, I kind of do it on my nose and my chin, not my cheeks because they can get really dry. And my nose and my chin, which tends to break out, it has um, more clogged pores. And um, just let it sit, not for too long, but just let it sit till it dries and then be very careful um, wiping it off. You want to wipe it off with a face cloth and more of a circular motion. Um, and, and I find that my skin feels really, um, really clean and exfoliated after I do that. Now, for your body, what you want to do is you're going to take a mixture of, I like to start with a base of almond oil, which... I couldn't find this in my regular grocery store, but I did find this on a specialty grocery store. Um, but you want to use almond oil and mix it together with some light brown sugar. Um, I kind of like the um, this pourable one because it's easier to close. And um, I kind of like the granulated one more because it doesn't tend to get as stiff and you actually get a little bit better scrub. And you can also add honey to that as well if you want. Um, mix it all together and then I use um, scrubby gloves that I put on and I just kind of pour the mixture on the scrubby gloves and I just scrub all over. Um, your skin's going to feel really soft and to be honest it's a lot cheaper and it's very similar to a lot of the really popular body scrubs that you can get at you know like a Sephora um, and it feels just as nice and it's like a fraction of the price. Little tip, oil on your bathtub or shower can get really messy so I lie down a towel on the bottom of my tub and or shower or whatever it is that you're using that will catch all the oil and sugar and everything and then of course you want to rinse off and then you just sort of take the towel fold it up and wring it out and then you just sort of put it aside in your laundry and that way your tub doesn't get all slippery because you want to make sure you don't get any oil on the bottom of your tub or shower because that could be a real disaster next you want to apply your face mask now my favorite face mask to use is actually full fat sour cream now I know a lot of people recommend full fat yogurt as a face mask, which is cheap and inexpensive and works really well. Um, it works similar to the way the milk will in the bath because it's got the lactic acid but it also has natural fats in it so you're basically exfoliating and moisturizing at the same time. Um, but I've used yogurt and I find yogurt's consistency tends to be very drippy and runny and I really like the sour cream because it tends to be thicker and I can just put it on and I can do other things like do body scrub or something like that and it, it doesn't drip on everything. So I just like the full fat scrap sour cream better um, but you can always use full fat yogurt as well. Now after you rinse off everything, your body scrub and your face mask, uh, I like to sort of run my skin with a cotton pad and this alcohol free toner. It's actually 
Rose Petal Witch Hazel, which again, I didn't get this in my regular grocery store, but I found this in like a specialty health food store. Um, it's just for your face. It's not actually something that you can eat, but um, it's just nice. I rub it on my face or, you know, maybe chest or back or something. Any area that I feel tends to break out a little bit. Just kind of nice to kind of just feel like an extra cleanse for your skin and like the rose petal scent is really pretty and rose is really good for your skin. And then you just want to finish off with a good moisturizer, one for your body and one for your face. And there you go, a nice little at-home day spa, probably takes about an hour, so it's not a big time crunch, and it's from products that you either have at home or you can find in your regular grocery store or specialty food store. So it's a fraction of the price of what you would pay to either go to a day spa or to buy um, expensive, fancy day spa products at home. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube page. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you leave them in the comment section below. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you join us next time. Make sure you check out everydaystarlet.com. Thanks so much.